Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I would like to share something a little bit different with you. So we're going to make some of these cards but I kind of wanted to share with you why I started making these cards. So I started reading a book to my son called Evidence Not Seen. It is the story of Darlene Diebler um, from when she was a prisoner of war, a Japanese prisoner of war during World War II and all of the things that she went through. But what stood out to me was how much she had memorized scripture and how that scripture and those songs from her childhood that she had stored in her heart sustained her through this that she had gone through. Couple that with, um, I have been reading two books on practicing the presence of God and I wanted to start storing large chunks of scripture in my heart so that um, the Holy Spirit could recall that when I needed it, but also so that I could spend time with God in that way, in memorizing the scripture, in relying on him to help help me remember the scripture, and also um, to use the scripture and reciting the scripture as a way to um, become aware of God's presence with me. So these are very easy little cards to make. I put them all over my kitchen and in my bathroom so that um, when I see them, I can one, practice the verse and two, remember to stop and uh, be aware of God's presence and to pray to him and talk to him. So a lot of mine were scriptures, but I also have some up that are quotes um, from Brother Lawrence's book. This one is um, for prayers. I keep this one in, on my bathroom mirror so that I can pray for the people on the list. And it reminds me to pray and it gives me a list of people to pray for. So let's get started. On these, I just used regular notebook paper on cardstock and then used, um, this was a printable from Bible Journaling, Bible Journaling Ministries. I'll put a link down below for them. Um, but you can also just doodle on them. So this one, I just did some hearts and some dots. Whoops. Here I did some swirls and big ones and small ones and some fake stitches around it. It got wet obviously, um, and then some little teeny tiny hearts. So it's up to you. You can um, do any kind of doodles on these that you would like, or if you have some stickers on hand, you can use those. All of these were done um, with just notebook paper, except this one I had created and printed out, but it's just notebook paper that I inked around the edges on. So I thought we would make some of these. So super easy. I'm gonna use my flower kit from Etsy. Um, I have already cut out the flowers I'm going to use. And so the first thing we want to do is cut our cardstock. So um, for the cardstock, I wanted this to be super easy. So I just folded it in half and cut straight down the middle. I didn't want any wasted paper. So I just cut straight down the middle and then divided it. So let me give you the measurements. I can see this little teeny tiny ruler. So four and a quarter, which would be eight and a half, um, which is your lengthwise, and then three inches. Whoops. So I think we do have a little bit of waste on the bottom. So I'm going to do my three inches first because this thing's too big. So I'm going to mark these off at three inches and cut from there. I 
feel like it must have been a little bit less than three inches so that I can get them all in there, but we'll do it this way. If you have scissors, obviously, you can just cut this real quick with scissors. This is a little bit faster. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just making some cards. Um, these would be cute to send in a card to somebody as well if you wanted to. Can't see my line. I can work it. I can't see my fold line. Okay. So then we've got all um, a lot of these already cut out for us. So that makes things a little bit easier. Now I grabbed some lined paper and I also grabbed some graph paper because I like using graph paper as well. This is so easy. I just rip it, okay? So I just kind of start where I want, rip it down. Oops, I lost my flower. Um, so let's make it a little bigger so I can cut that side. Some of them you got to be a little bit more gentle with so that um, you don't go over you, the space that you have. There we go. Easy. There, There's one for that one and then let's do one for this one. I am, don't like the red line so I try to stay away from it. I also don't want that um, big empty space on top. So I try to stay away from it as well and just rip the paper. No scissors needed, no fancy anything, just ripping paper. Whoa, All right, let's take some of that off. There's a big dip there. All right, there we go. Okay. Now, all we have to do is ink them and put a sticker on. So, um, <laughs> I'm using my favorite ink, which is the frayed burlap, and my favorite dauber, which is one that my son made for me. So I'm gonna ink the card first. Inking the card is definitely by far the easiest. You just go around the edge. I like for mine to look a little antique-y, so, um, I'll come in a little bit on those edges, especially the corners, and get in those corners real good. Just like that. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. You could also um, use any kind of ink that you have. Um, I know a little girl who's been doing this and she doesn't have this type of ink, so she's just been using like a regular ink pad for hers. Um, you probably have to be a little bit more careful with that, um, but that's what she's been using for hers. You could also just kind of color around the edges of it if you wanted to with some colored pencils. I love the ripped edges and the ink. I just think it looks really cool together. I didn't get, grab my verses that I wanted to put on here, but I am finishing up Psalm 139 and I am about to start working on Ephesians. A friend of mine and I are memorizing together. All right, there's that. Oh, I forgot the glue. Okay. So let's go do this card, just so you can see how they both look. Inside that circle a little bit. I have other colors of ink, not very many. I don't have a big stash of ink, but this is my go-to. I probably should have picked a different color with the pretty flowers, but I'm actually gonna ink the flowers too. Um, They will look a little antique -y as well. And this is, it's, it's such an easy way 
to um, create a little something just to set around your house just to um, when you see it it draws your thoughts to God and then you can talk to him and commune with him um, go over your verse or say a prayer or sing a song or anything really even just thoughts of him thoughts of um, it maybe it reminds you to think about the Bible study that you did that morning this morning in my Bible study well in um, the verse for today for the prayerful planner um, there they were talking about God's great love for us and how much he loves us and how we just need to really stop and think about how much our father loves us and it that that we don't God didn't have to make us sons and daughters he could have just saved us but instead he made us his children and how that shows just how much he cares for and loves for us loves for us <laughs> loves us Okay, so there's one flower inked. We'll ink the other one here, and then I'm gonna grab my glue. You can do this with any glue. I love the purple glue sticks. Purple glue sticks are one of my favorites. And then um, the art glitter glue is the other um, go-to that I have for getting stuff glued down. You could also um, do a backdrop of a book page on this um maybe we'll try that out i don't know if we'll have time but we'll see um you could do the backdrop of a book page and then put your paper on top of that i love decorating with book pages okay so let's glue let's glue this one down first because i already know what i want to do with the yellow flower we're just going to put a little glue on here not very much you don't need very much of this probably looks like I'm putting a lot but I'm not. Is there any glue on it? I feel like my glue stopped up. Okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to glue half of it on here and then the other half I'm going to glue down onto the other side. You could also leave it up like a tag if you've printed um, your printable if you've printed your printable onto um, a cardstock or a heavier paper, then um, this could just be a little tag that you have hanging out up here. I think I left my glue open. Let's grab the purple glue stick. So when I get my paper on the other side, I'll fold this over and glue it down just like that. Okay, so there's that one. And then let's glue this one down. Just like that, and then maybe we'll put this pink flower, pink rose, over here in the corner. How much time do I got? Six minutes. Just like that. And then you can um, write your prayer people on here, write a Bible verse on here. Whoops. It was a little bit too much, but it's okay. I didn't want it that white. It was a little bit too white. Okay, there we go. Um, and then you can um, post them up on a window seal in your kitchen or on your refrigerator, really anywhere. And then that will help you to have the scripture right out in front of you or a prayer. Maybe you have a specific prayer that you're praying over a certain person in your life. You can write that prayer down and then every time you see it, it'll help you to remember and you can pray for that person. Um, I just feel like this is a really great way to grow closer to our Father, spend more time with Him throughout our day rather than just 
um, doing our Bible studies in the morning and then, you know, going through the rest of our day without him. I heard a quote this morning and it was saying how we should not try to fit our faith into our life, but fit our life into our faith. And as we practice God's presence and rest in Him and walk with Him throughout the day and talk to Him about all of the things that are going on through our day um, and um, how we're feeling, giving our work to Him constantly, um, Brother Lawrence um, says, uh, creator of pots and pans and things, and then he says, make me a saint. Um, and then it's something along the lines of while I prepare food and uh, wash the dishes or something along those lines. And it's, it just reminds me that God made everything. He made everything. And, um, and our work is to be done for him. So these are really a great way you can decorate both sides and just spend a little bit more time in his presence each and every day. I hope you enjoyed this little video and will come back and join me for the next one and that you have a wonderfully blessed day. Thank you. Bye.